Hey there, I'm JB. Let's play a little bit of Radical Relocation because the last time we finished off the land missions and we're going to start off doing the missions on the water, which is called Island Regions. We've got a couple of these guys to go and then we finally get to the answer. How will it work if we need to use air vehicles? So let's get right into it. Let's get this suitcase. Let's place this right down there and let's grab this plant right down there the next thing we need to do is see where we need to go in this case it would be nice to turn around i guess we're going to turn around this way and then see if we can reach it real quick not too bad man this is beautiful right look at these vibrant colors the ocean is nice and silent Ah, let's just, you know, just shut the hell up for a second. Alright, enough about that. So, I am going to assume that we are going to get a couple of nice vehicles to drive around with on the water. Like um, sailboats, maybe jet skis, that would not be very handy. Maybe some cruise ships, cargo ships, container ships, some, some speed boats, some drag speed boats. That guy's having a lot of fun. Looks like a jet ski with a inflatable tire at the back. Alright, and so two hours later we finally reached our destination. I'm going to assume that I could do this faster, but then I'm going to need to have a, a better boat for that. Now, one thing I'm going to assume is the way how they're going to make us difficult is by all of these moving stuff and things in the way. You have here a boat with a... I do believe they call this banana boats, but not really a boat. It's more an inflatable thing. And I would like to take a look. We got a dinghy, right? Let's go to our garage. Now, we're going to need to collect some stuff again in order to unlock some stuff because this guy is going to have props and a deck. But look at all of these guys that we're going to unlock eventually. All right? In this case, it's going to be still very simple. I'm going to rotate this guy in the middle. I'm going to put this box right down there. And then, let's put this, this guy let's rotate it like that beautiful now let's see what we have to go to we have to go a little bit straight right around the corner let's try to go between in here and then that should be it oh boy that was a rough start there but yeah as you can see these guys are going to eventually give us a difficult time so far so good all right Ow! Oh. Okay, so they do have a way to go, to say. Uh oh. Okay, these are guys that are on the inside. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys just ghost around. Okay, these guys are gonna go. So it's, it's a little bit like, okay. You know, you can kind of see how things go. And we will make it. There we go. I love the indicator though. That's very nice. I really appreciate that. <laughs> and that would be, you know, easy, easy. Now, I did got two other things. So I just want to, you know, make a little lock. Okay, we can build this guy. But, we can also build this guy. And by the look of things, this one is a lot faster. And it also has some more space. So let's just, you know, build this guy. Then get back. And let's see. We got a doghouse and a table. That doesn't seem to be very difficult. Now, I do just, you know, I just want to do one thing, all right? Because in level one, we had a slow guy, now we have a bit of a faster guy. So in this case, we're just going to put this guy on here. Let's just have some fun, right? But let's, let's do it here, that will be better. 
It's endless. Right away. Chop chop. Can we do it a lot faster? I like how it's still a little bit in angle. So the other one was going 50 knots, which you can see in the right bottom. This one, 23. So we are a, a bit faster. First we were here, now we are there. So on this way, you know, you can do break your records. Now, of course, I, you know, let, let's just do all of them and then just, you know, continue where we left off because I don't want to you know, do everything like that. So let's just do that. This one, I believe we needed to go around the corner. And this one stays a lot better. Now, since this is like a swamp boat, I'm going to assume we still cannot go over land because... It's not a hovercraft, right? Hovercraft, you can go on land, but a swamp boat might be able to scrape a little bit more if needed. And once again, I am not in a rush with this game. I'm only going to play this game when I, you know, I want to have some content for the people that would like to see this. And I'm, you know, a little bit busy. Like for tomorrow, I'm going to have an episode or islands. I'm going to need to do some stuff today too for that. So that's why you guys are gonna get radical relocation. Okay, so I'm going to, to be careful because this guy will flip backwards, right? Uh can I yeah okay 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 we can do that. We can do this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we can do that. Let's give it a little rotate. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. And then after this, you're gonna get a new level. Now I also wanna be careful, uh, which basically I mean, I don't wanna crank this guy out to, you know, 50 minutes and then I have to cut edit a lot of stuff. Okay, let's cross, quick, 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 quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. Oh, okay. Let's follow this guy instant. Now we can. nothing going on down there beautiful yeah i don't want to spend hours and hours cut editing because you know that wouldn't make any sense make like a quick episode and then still spend hours and hours editing <laughs> uh okay coffee table in a dark canyon uh that's nice and all but where is my stuff you see that that's weird I don't yeah, I think I'm having a bug so let's just restart what there we go all right thank you again so we're going to do this easy and very simple and let's rotate this one like that have to be careful cornering now it would be the best if we check out the map we're going to need to go into this direction which will be uh, here and then our point is past little messy islands. I think it's somewhere around here though. So let's begin and be careful with the boat. I think it's nice if you just instant turn without even moving. So yeah, nothing will fly off. Let's go between in here. And yeah, once again, I would like to try to finish this campaign on water without using any power-ups and cheaty things and whatever not, just like with the vehicles. Um, yeah, I mean, eventually, if I would finish this game off, we can still go for speed run. Well, not really speed run. I'm just just want to say like uh, we can take the fastest vehicle, like a hot rod or whatever. And we just bind stuff on our hot rod. And then uh, we can just go as fast as possible. We don't have to worry about anything. And it will be a lot of fun, right? Okay. Just be careful. And we cross this section here. And then we need to be around the corner, which is very beautiful. That. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There we go. So far so good, but 
it's gonna get worse and worse, eh? Now look at this, we got a yacht. Now, I don't really feel like, oh, maybe it would be useful. Um, let, wait, let me see something here. So, it weighs a lot more. And the speed and whatever not is also not good. But I can imagine you can stack up a lot of stuff on that guy. Okay, so where do we need to go? We need to go forwards and then we're gonna go uh, right and right again. So there will be that going that way if that is. Oh, I need to be careful with the indicator. So in this case, we're going to go, yeah, right. It's still the same actually. Right and then right. But it will be around this part down here and then somewhere in the back we need to be. Okay, which basically I'm trying to say here, what if we use this a little bit as, uh, is that possible? As a, um, um, a point where stock won't fly off. Now this I need to be careful with because, ooh, I think the best is to do like that. So this is very heavy, right? I'm going to assume it's very heavy. Okay, well expecting a lot more from that now that down there is maybe handy maybe not handy uh what i mean by that is you cannot see what's happening would be tight but look of it it's not very tight but yep if you would have a very fast boat you're also going to have bigger corners so this here is still fine. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, we have a jet ski coming up and then we are kind of safe to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, our indicator point is there. And okay, what I would like to do is cross this as soon as possible. <laughs> I, you know, I like this idea though, because in real life it works like this too. You need to think way far ahead because boats cannot just instant stop, right? Like cars or whatever, uh, unless you're driving 300 miles per hour, it's going to be real bad. And instantly stop makes stuff fly off. All right, let's, ooh, you know, I got shocks. And, okay, that, we need to go there. That doesn't seem to be too bad. So let's grab this guy. Let's place it here so it can roll all at once. And then, and no, and then let's just place this down there. And let's flatten this out like this. And then instant, go, go. Don't even think about it. Just move. Oh shh! I didn't even notice that. <laughs> okay, very careful. All right, not too bad at all. I mean, that's pretty good though. Okay, so far it is still okay. All right, let's see. Oh, we got a uh, what is that? A, a canoe, a Thai fishing boat. Okay, Thai fishing boat compared with this guy. Uh, the speed is lesser, it has a little bit more weight. Yeah, it's... I mean... Sure. Okay, I, I'm not sure. It's, you know, you, you could use the Thai boat for like... Um, 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 the starting area, maybe it's better. Okay, but in this case... Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh... I wonder how much, you know? Yeah, of course, eventually, once things become more difficult or it takes longer time, uh, if it's about uh, putting the stuff on the boat, I will, you know, do the little cut edit stuff, right? Like I've done before. Now let's just do a little bit more in the middle. There we go. Boy. So we're gonna go right and then past this area and then 
so be it. Okay, let this let this dude pass for a bit and chop chop chop. Ow! Oh, you're such a moron. Alright, I've been putting it down like this. Let's see how it goes. Let's just start off because I don't see any. Yep, that's fine. You know, this is good. I think with this guy as long as you're gonna go straight, it's easy peasy. You're going to need to do tight corners. It's real bad. I also see right now that the boat, when they have something on the back, they're going to make a slingshot type of deal. So I'm going to need to be careful not getting touched with that guy. As this area, I mean. So I, I'm pretty lucky. Pretty lucky because that guy will do a slingshot. Yep. Very bad. Alright, you know. And I got achievement anger management. Smash 20 TVs. I think this is a, a good one for today. I have enjoyed myself so far. That this was pretty easy though. Yeah, let's see how far we can get in the next time. I'm running out of time. <laughs> Do we have actually a new one? Oh, we got a tugboat. And the tugboat is less agility, less speed. But a tugboat has a ginormous amount of space on the back. So if I'm going to